Hi, and welcome to our flip video on the different types of division problems and our flip video on um, the order of operations. So, first, let's talk about the three different ways that you could possibly see a division problem. So, 56 divided by 8. This is a way that you've seen before. You will never see a division problem like this, okay? That's just wrong. Then you can see 56 divided by 8. And then this is also a division problem of 56 divided by 8. You could also see, or 568, sorry, 568 divided by 8. You can see it like that also. This does mean that you need to do division. So these are the three different ways that you could potentially see a division problem. So. Um, you would just solve, you would set this one up like this, and you would set this one up like this. So you would take this one and do 568 divided by 8. This one, you could think of it like an ice cream cone, okay? So the 568, this is like a freezer. So the 568 is frozen because it's the ice cream. So, you would put that inside the freezer, if this was a pretend freezer. So that number would go inside the freezer or underneath the roof of the house. This number is going to go on the outside of the freezer. So that's another way to help you remember whenever you see a problem that looks like a fraction. This is a numerator and denominator, but it's also a division problem. Let's talk about PEMDAS. P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, which we're not even going to discuss exponents, you'll learn about that in middle school, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for adding, S stands for subtracting, and parentheses look like this. Now, these is, this is the order of operations, but let's just say you had multiplication and division. You just go from left to right. And adding and subtracting, they just go from left to right. So these two, multiplication and division has to be done before addition and subtraction, but if your multiplication or division is in order first, you just do whatever is first. So let's look at this. 4 minus 2, I'm going to do my parentheses first. 4 minus 2 is 2. Then I have to multiply 6 times 2. This right here, because there's nothing there, means multiply. So 6 times 2 equals 12. Then I have to do my division next. Multiplication, division, left to right. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the answer to this is 4. Let's look at this one. 8 minus 7. So I'm going to do 8 minus 7. That's going to be 2. Then I did my parentheses. Next, I'm going to multiply. 2 times 8 is 16. Then I'm going to add in the 5, which equals 21. So that's the answer to that. So that's how you do the order of operations. Parentheses, multiplicate exponents, but we're not discussing those. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask any of your teachers.